Hello, welcome to this video. Now I'm not quite in my normal studio, but I'm still here ready and waiting to be able to give you some advice on QuickBooks Online. Now, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the world of your bank account, which is arguably one of the most important parts of your whole QuickBooks experience. And we're gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to make sure that you have a nice balanced bank account. Let's have a look. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of accounts here at Boffix. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the world of your bank account. And in particular, we're gonna be talking about how your bank account is actually by far the most important part about QuickBooks Online. And if you can get the bank account right, then you're gonna be in a good position to get the rest out. So let's have straight into it and try and find ways in which we can make sure that you have your bank account absolutely spot on. All right then, so looking at this bank account as we've got in front of us now. Now I'm directly on the dashboard and anyone like myself who's quite making sure that we've got everything in place at all times, this sort of dashboard does make me a little bit cry inside because we can see straight away there's some major issues. First of all, in the business bank account, there's 53 route to go, and it was updated 679 days ago, so not quite up to date data at this point. Revolut, one, needs attention because the update was 39 days ago, so we need to update that. Same with the PayPal, 577 days updated, and then the rest of them aren't live bank accounts. Even this bank account here, which says it's updated 100 days ago, well, we're gonna have a look at that, I don't think that's correct, but we're actually different. Even though everything's been reviewed, we're a thousand pound out. So we wanna be looking at all of those free transactions to make sure we're happy to go. Let's have a look. Well, if I jump into the bank account, first of all, one of the things you always, 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 always must remember is that if you see a transaction number here, that means you still have transactions that need to be cleared on QuickBooks Online. For those aren't aware, the way you deal with bank account transactions in QuickBooks is your whole idea is you need to move them from the for review section into the categorize section. That's what your role as the bookkeeper is. You're moving the transactions from for review, basically QuickBooks are then aware of the transactions, you're moving them from for review into categorized. And when you put them into categorized at that point, you're saying you're ready to show them in QuickBooks Online. If you're gonna run a set of accounts or if you're gonna be doing a VAT return, anything like that, they need to be in the categorized section for you to do it. Also, as you move from full review to categorized, your whole idea is making sure, first of all, should you be matching against a transaction that's already in QuickBooks? And the matching transaction looks very much like this, saying that that transaction is already in QuickBooks and you're matching to see it was actually there or you're gonna be adding the transaction, which is pretty much everything else on this page at the moment. And that way you're saying that that transaction's never been in QuickBooks before and we're adding it for the first time. So when you move from for review to categorized, you're either going to be matching a transaction or adding a transaction. So the first thing to make sure is, is the 54, is the number here down to zero? Meaning you've, put, meaning you've dealt with all your transactions. And is this date here in a reasonable time frame? The next big issue is this explanation mark here. If that's there, you need to click into it and follow the on-screen instructions to be able to reconnect your bank account. Because at this point, you're not actually providing real-time information to your QuickBooks. And you need to be reconnecting it to make sure that you do able to do that. And then the other big one is this situation. Your bank account and your in QuickBooks balance don't ma match. Now, first of all, you need to make sure that you are up to date on the right hand side and you have a tick there. Then you need to follow this simple tip to be able to find out how to make that difference. In this case, it's a thousand pound. Now, it's quite tempting to jump into categorized, maybe have a look and try and find for a thousand pound. In this case, we're not going to find it. it. I know this difference isn't just one transaction, it's multiple transactions. But here's a little trick for you. Go to the bank register, and from the bank register, you'll notice that most of the transactions here have a little green blobs next to them. Green blobs signify that they have come from a trusted source, in this case, the bank itself. If the green blob has a plus in it, then you know that you've actually got 
this has been added by a rule. But what am I looking for? I'm looking for no green blobs. So as I scroll through here, utilizing this option here to put it in order if I need to, means that I found these two transactions and either they're gonna be transactions that haven't yet hit the bank account, or they're gonna be transactions that have been posted to the wrong bank account. In this case, the date wise are on my side. There's a strong possibility this is gonna arrive in the next bank. So I'm gonna leave them on for now. If I did need to change them, click in from here, press edit, and it's this payment account up here I wanna be changing. And finally, the biggest tip of all of them is make sure you reconcile your bank. So if I go as an accountant, I get to go to what's called my overview screen. And from my overview screen, I can see straight away when these bank accounts were last reconciled. In this case, this NatWest account looks like it's absolutely spot on. The Revolut account is very close, depending on my year end, that might be satisfied. But this Revolut Metal account and this business bank account here, definitely are ones I need to be looking at in more detail. And those are the sort of accounts I need to be sorting out ASAP. How do you reconcile? There's loads of places to get there. Company card, reconcile. Choose the account that you want to reconcile to. Grab your bank statement, put the figure in there, put a date in that you're reconciling to, press start reconciling. In this case, you'll notice that everything will automatically tick that needs to be ticked. Remember those green blobs we talked about? Well, they're items that QuickBooks can trust and they will automatically be included in your reconciliation. You'll notice here that those two transactions that we saw that haven't got green blobs haven't been automatically ticked. Now, QuickBooks is still saying there's a zero difference because they're not including these two as reconciled items. And in this situation, I'm going to carry them forward as unpresented expenses. Items where I know I've paid for them, but they haven't paid on my bank yet. Some sort of timing delay or maybe even check in some situations. And I've got to wait until that transaction appears on my bank. In this case, I'm going to be pushing these two forward. If they were transactions though that definitely don't appear on your bank, that's when you've got to go into here and you've got to find the transaction and you've got to deal with it accordingly, either by deleting it or moving it to a place where it should be. And there we have it. There is a quick fire way of making sure that your bank account is always up to date. Now follow those tips I've been doing, make sure that you reconcile your bank on a regular basis, and then you're gonna be in a position where you're gonna have confident data in your bank account. Confident data in your bank means the rest of QuickBooks Online will pretty much fall in line as well. And if you're ever passing your information onto accountants, do set up accounts, making sure that bank is reconciled is less back and forward between your two of you. Always reconcile at period end, so if you've got a VAT return to do, make sure you reconcile at that point. That way you'll be confident that everything is exactly how it should be. If you want more tips and tricks like this, then please do make sure you like and subscribe and all of that stuff. Put a comment down below. Let me know how you go about reconciling and look at your bank account. It'd be great to get some insight below. My name's been Aaron Patrick. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you. And I'm sure I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.